inventory management, reorder point and safety stock. Um, why is inventory management important? Well, if you have a consumable, for example, um, these usually have a shelf life. And if your product goes beyond the shelf life date, your product um, must be thrown away um, because you cannot sell it to your customers anymore. Same goes for technology. If the technology uh, of a device becomes obsolete, um, no one will buy your product. Um, also, having too high levels of inventory will be bad for your liquidity. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, having too low of inventory levels uh, will result in being unable to supply the demand of your customers, uh, which might be even worse than having too high levels of inventory because your customers are simply going to another supplier of these products because they have a bad customer experience when buying from you. So this is what an inventory management graph would look like in the ideal scenario. There is a stable demand and there is a stable lead times. Lead time is the time it takes for your product to arrive at your inventory. Um, so the vertical lines in the inventory management graph are the moment your product arrives, but you have to order your product before it. This is what we call a lead time. And your lead time multiplied by the average daily sales or your uh, sales in this case, because they are stable every day, and this is what we call the reorder point. So here's an example. Uh, let's say we're selling baseball bats and our average daily sales is 20. Our average lead time is 15 days. Um, and our economic order quantity, which I'll explain in a further video, is 1000 baseball bats. Uh, so what is the reorder point? It's simply uh, sum, the sum of the average daily sales uh, with the average lead time. So 20 times 15 is 300. So the reorder point is 300, meaning every time we reach 300 um, levels in inventory, we have to replenish with 1000 units. And once we reach 300 again, we place a new order. Unfortunately, as I said before, um, we're living in a world with uncertainty. We have variables and the main variables in this scenario are a variable, the sales and the lead time. So sales can be higher, it can be lower. Uh, lead times can be shorter, it can take longer. Um, the best, biggest risk is if you sell more than you expect, so you run out of inventory, or if the lead times are longer than expected. So we introduce the concept of safety stock. Safety stock is an additional quantity of item held in inventory to reduce the risk of running out of stock. As you can see in the middle order cycle, you see that the inventory level falls below the safety stock level. But if we didn't have the safety stock, it would have been zero at this moment, meaning no sales. But because we do have this safety stock in place, uh, we can still sell and reduce the risk of not being able to supply the demand. So having a safety stock is very useful to have um, dealing with uncertainty. So how do you calculate uh, how what your safety stock should be? You should not just take a random number and say, OK, that's going to be my safety stock. You want to also keep this as low as possible. A very simple way to calculate your safety stock is taking the average scenario and comparing it to the maximum scenario. So the average daily sales was 20 and the maximum is 28. The average lead time is 15 and the maximum is 18. Um, so through the same formula, we calculate the maximum reorder point and the average reorder point, And we say that the maximum is 5 of 4 and the average is 300, meaning that our safety stock is 204. We simply reduce the maximum or reduce the average from the maximum. So as you can see in the graph, the lead time is still the same, but um, the red line represents an inventory level of 204. Um, we know that we should replenish at 300 units above the 204 safety uh, stock inventory. So that's why we reorder our stock at 504 and it will replenish once uh, we are close to hitting uh, 204. Or sometimes when we have a slower lead time or we make more sales than expected, we still have some of those 204 safety stock in place to reduce the uncertainty of running out of stock. 